Hey, what's up guys? Mike back with another video and today we'll be taking a look at the SV3C PoE camera from Amazon. So guys, just in case you're wondering what PoE is, PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. Um, I'm not going to go into much detail about this technology, but what it basically means, it can carry both power and data simultaneously over a Cat5, Cat6 network cable to devices such as an internet phone or an IP camera, etc, etc. Now I'll put a link in the video description for a video regarding PoE and what the benefits are, but for now, let's crack on with the unboxing. Front, left side, right side, rear. So guys, with that... Let's open the box, see what we get inside. So like I showed you in the pictures, you don't actually uh, get much given away from the uh, outer packaging. It's clean, it's crisp, it looks quite nice. So if we open the box, like so. So the first thing we get is the HD network camera quick start guide. So this has got device installation for both ISO and Android and setup instructions for setting it up as a Wi-Fi enabled network camera or a PoE camera and all the uh, good stuff on how to get it working on Windows etc etc. So that's one of those. You get some fixings to fix it to an external uh, outer wall of the building. One times power adapter. You get one times Ethernet cable. Standard Ethernet cable, Cat5. We also get, it looks like a uh, gland or a lock nut. It's got a little uh, rubber washer inside it, so you'd use that to keep the uh, unit itself and the wiring weather tight. One times the installation CD software. Now I should imagine this would have all the uh, setup instructions for Windows. Forget about that. Again, like I mentioned, link in the video description if you want to learn more about PoE. So the camera itself, hard shell on the top, Plastic shell, one single screw on the top. It's got a little uh, guard on the top here, like a rain deflector, if you will. Um, yeah, the, the body, it's got this uh, raised print where it actually says SV3C. Looks very nice. Got this nice uh, two toned gold, goldy green going on. Um, on the back here, the uh, bracket arm that mounts to whatever surface you're installing this on is all steel again. The whole body of the camera is steel. It uses a 12 volt power supply if you want to use it via power and you've got a wall outlet. Now the advantage of PoE is basically you don't have to worry about where the plug socket is again. You just literally you can run an ethernet cable that's carrying data from a network switch or something like that and it can power this camera. So yeah, first impressions of the camera itself. It's It looks very well made. I like this uh, black and white scheme going on. So, bang test. So yeah, that is the camera itself. You do get quite a bit with it. Everything that you would require to get this camera operational is included. So let's take a look, see how it performs on ISO and Android. So this is installation via Android. I've uh, followed their instructions. It's a bit flaky. So it's transferring power and data. So guys, as you can see from the top of my phone in the notification, I've got a screen recorder and P2P Wi-Fi camera running. So now I'm gonna click onto this. Um, this is the uh, screen and you can see that my Wi-Fi camera does say online. And now you can see that's my phone, that's me. And there is a little bit of lag with what I'm doing, but it does work so you can have audio on audio off and as you can see on the app the microphone comes up which is pretty cool we do like that I can take a snapshot by the sound of that horrible noise I can switch to video mode and you can see that it is recording now so let's see if the ability to zoom in works okay so the functions are there on the app but it is not actually, yeah, uh, maybe let's stop recording. So we should have now, if we go into our file, speed priority, quality priority. Let's leave it on speed. 
and I don't know what this F plus and F minus does. So we can turn the screen portrait, and once you're in the portrait mode, you'll notice that I can wave. The clarity of the picture is uh, astonishingly good. Now, there is a hell of a lot of lag. Well, it's not that bad. I'm not waving my hands like this. Uh, there's got to be like about 1.5, maybe 1.5 second uh, delay. Um, the user interface on the Android app itself is pretty good. So what happens when I press this? Nothing happens when I press this. So we can click the microphone and now it will record what I'm saying. So I'm um, so far for the price that we're paying, the Android app itself is fantastic. So if you go to alarm, you can set up notifications. So this is the recording that we've got. We click onto it. And as you can see, that's the, uh, sorry, that was the still image. So if we go back, back and go to videos, click onto here, video file, two megabytes, click onto it, and there we are. So what you're looking at is what the camera has recorded, records in 15 second bursts at two megabytes of file. Now, I don't know if we can change that, but we will look into that. So you can update the app and various other things. So the Android app itself is fantastic. Let's take a look at the ISO app. So guys, now let's try the same app on ISO. So we'll hit get, install. Just give it a moment. Let me tap in our password. Okay, so type in your password. Look, broke my iPad. Oh well, what are you gonna do? So now it is downloaded. Well, we can hit open on the app. It's exactly the same imaging as the Android app. So let's see how we can make this work. We we'll click on to add camera. Now I did have the password. Oh, we're going to do a LAN search. And as you can see, this camera now, because it's set up Originally through Android, it automatically comes up on our network. So we'll type in the password, which is defaulted to admin. I suggest that you change this. So once that is done, we hit done. And as you can see, the camera says it's online. So we should be able to see the same scene of my living room as it is right now. So ignore the uh, studio lights guys, I apologise for that. Just to show you, it's not a still and the thing does work perfectly. I'm going to hit that camera again, let it connect, and I'm going to go run downstairs now. Here I am, I'm going to run downstairs and hold up the number 2. So, as you can see, that did work, and we again take a look at the ISO app. You've got the same buttons here, minusing the microphone is still here. We can activate, can we? So, as it turns out that the ISO app, the microphone doesn't work. And you can rotate it, you can rotate the image which is fantastic. Now I will say that the ISO app doesn't feel as stable as the Android app. Pros, it's cheap. It's really cheap. For a solution that you can get to monitor your home while you're at work or you're abroad. Now, the build quality is excellent. The image quality is fantastic. The ability to activate the microphone on the camera at whim is perfect. Now the thing does record 30 second clips. I haven't found a way of making it longer or anything like that. It is triggered as well so you can motion activate it. It's perfect. The night vision on it, I know I didn't put anything in the video, but the night vision was, it's not bad. It's pretty damn good. Um, cons. These were useless. Uh, the other cons was once you get it all set up, it can be a bit flaky. The Android app is a definitely a lot better than ISO. So that, that's about it for the cons. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe. If you disliked it, be sure to dislike. Um, like I said, subscribe for more of these affordable tech reviews. I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye. See ya.